Well, today we're going to be painting the um, gaming miniatures that we got in the uh, Schlawny, Schlain, Slain 2008 game set, Kiss My Axe. So the first job is going to be to uh, trim away, so let you see, he's got a big old uh, excess bit of resin there. Trim away all the parts, assemble the figures, and then undercoat them. I'm going to paint these in um, speed painters, uh, speed paints, so they need a... Uh, white undercoat, whereas normally I'll undercoat in black. Um, so that's the first job, um, and there's not a lot of cleanup on these to be honest. A bit of sand in on the bottom. Um, every, everyone's got an injection lug, so that needs sanded off, otherwise it won't stand up. I don't know whether I'll put them on the bigger round stands yet. I might, because then I can do a little grass terrain, etc. Um, and just build up the stands. So that will be the first job. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, if I can find my scalpel. Good stuff about these, they're really easy to cut. I might remove them from the stands. They're easier to paint with the stands on, but then I could just put them to a proper base. Now I'll build the bases up around the stands to give them a bit more strength. I need a bit of trimming. Do that. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with that, and I'll come back when they're undercoated. Okay, so I've undercoated them all in. Um, the uh, Army Painter uh, spray white. It's very good spray actually. It's acrylic based, so it doesn't smell too much. So what I'm going to do is use Crusader Crusader skin. Let's give it a quick, a quick. Uh, okay. You know it, Maggie. You don't like that, do you? No. Um, these paints do require a bit of uh, mixing, otherwise they tend to... Uh, all the pigment goes to the bottom. Put a bit on there. Uh, find a brush. And then it's just a case of painting in the flesh parts. Um, good thing about these army painters is they... Uh, they're speed painters, so they're designed for just getting the colour on, <clears throat> and it does its own thing to uh, even itself out. And it dries really nicely, to be honest. You have to leave it a long time to dry, though, before you start sort of doing highlights or anything, otherwise it does just peel the paint off. So there we go. So I'm going to do that on all the flesh parts, which is quite a bit. So there's quite a few people with not a lot on in this set. I'm going to come back and have a look. Okay, so I've blocked in all of the uh, speed paint panels I want to do. Um, so everything else is going to be uh, normal acrylic paints. So for like the tartan metallics. Uh, stuff like that um, but you see the speed paints give a really good job on it I've let them dry for several days because there's nothing worse than you go to paint something else on top of it and it just pulls the speed paint off you have to be careful of that um, so what I'm going to do now is paint things like uh, black out the areas that are going to be metallic um, like swords shield bosses etc and then paint the white bits so uh, eyeballs, that sort of thing. So, for example, I'm going to paint in his warp eye. And try and get some detail on his teeth. There we 
go. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. So we'll come back when that's done. Perhaps do some metallics. Okay, so I finished painting them. I gave them a, a quick matte varnish spray gloss, um, which didn't come out too matte, but it's quite nice. It's sort of a satiny. I probably didn't shake it enough. Um, and then I just flocked some grass on. So let's have a look. Let me just make some space here. So we've got. Let's bring that over. So we've got uh, warped. Uh, slain. I painted all the uh, tartan. You've got X wielding slain. I like him, he's really good. Uh, the rock was actually a lot more fun to paint than I thought. Lots of washes and lots of detail on it, lots of like bones and skulls. Uh, you get the priest. Who again, they really liked Speed Painter paints these ones because there's so much detail been sculpted in. You get a little priest fella. He's caressing his rock. Uh, you get the uh, female figure holding a torch. I did like the way she came out. Uh, you get uh, Akko the Dwarf. A lot of character that sculpt. Sculpts are really good. And then you get the three, I presume they're villains, adversaries. So one, two. You've got tubes coming out of their beards. I don't know quite why. I need to reread the comic strip. Um, so yeah, so they were real good fun to paint. Lots and lots of detail to pick out. Uh, and like I say, if you do the, the basics in speed paint and leave it a couple of days to dry and then do the rest in acrylic, so you can do them pretty quickly. But yeah, I hope you like that. If you want to see more figure painting, let me know. I've got absolutely tons. I've just, just got some dad's army lines came in. Um, but thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, we have a Patreon page now, so if you want to click on the link and uh, have a look at that, that would be great. Um, but thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.